PCR1. Easy as one, two, three. The PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel is intended for use with the PCR1 analyzer. Before you perform the test, make sure that the PCR1 analyzer is turned on and ready to accept samples. Swab samples should be collected and placed in a transport tube only by personnel trained in the safe handling of biological samples. Nasal swabs should be collected according to the hospital's procedures resulting from the standard patient's diagnostic process. The transport tube containing the swab should be stored in a refrigerator. To verify that the sample storage period has not been exceeded, Read the date and time of swab collection indicated on the transport tube. Do not perform the test if the storage period has been exceeded. Make sure that you have a pouch with MRSA MSSA panel taken out from refrigerator and accommodated to room temperature over at least 20 minutes, laying flat with the label facing upwards. Open the package and take out the PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel. After unpacking the PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel, place the sample in the panel. When opening the package using sharp objects, such as scissors, take special care not to puncture the panel with sharp edges. Do not touch the foil on the raised part of the panel, where the PCR wells are located. When working with the cartridge, make sure that the waste chamber vent is unobstructed. The PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel should be kept on a firm, flat surface at all times. Open the cover of the sample well on the panel. Do not rotate or excessively tilt the PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel after opening the sample well cover. Remove the swab with the sample from the transport tube. If there is a visible lump of nasal discharge on the swab, remove it by wiping the swab with sterile gauze or tissue paper. Place the end of the swab in the sample well on the panel and then break it off. Close the sample well cover tightly by pressing it down until you hear a click. If you launch the PCR1 analyzer for the first time, follow this procedure. 1. Make sure that the PCR1 analyzer is connected to the power supply. 2. Switch on the main power switch located at the back of the instrument. The switch should be in the ON position. 3. Turn on the PCR1 analyzer using the switch at the front of the instrument. The button light will change from red to green and the login screen will appear. 4. Log in using your credentials. Select the new test button in the device's main menu. Pressing the new test button will launch the automatic initialization of the device. During the device initialization, the software will display the new test window where you must complete the following fields Sample collection date and sample number Wait until the device drawer is automatically ejected after initialization before inserting the panel Place the PCR1 MRSA MSSA panel in the analyzer drawer by inserting the back edge of the panel first and then its front edge the device will check if the panel is properly placed inside the drawer frame and will scan the barcode label located on the panel. Once this is done, you can begin the test by pressing the Start New Test button. Once the drawer is inserted, the device will start an automatic scenario of genetic material isolation and PCR reaction, which will take 15 to 20 minutes. The device will then analyze the products obtained and display the analysis result. At the end of the procedure, the device will automatically open the drawer with the panel. The panel should be immediately removed from the drawer, front edge first. The panel should then be placed in a resealable zipper storage bag and disposed of in a biohazard waste container. In the test status window, the diagnostician can read the test result indicating the presence or absence of Staphylococcus aureus. The results will also distinguish whether the detected bacterium is resistant or sensitive to antibiotics. It is possible to view real-time PCR curves and read the results for individual primer pairs available in the panel. The reliability of the test is confirmed by internal control that reflects the entire process which takes in the cartridge. The device not only performs the test, but also delivers the result. PCR1. Easy as one, two, three.